This is Get Geared Up with Greg Rao. In this video, we're going to be covering riser placement, closing the rig, closing the riser covers, and setting the pilot chute up correctly so it makes your butt look good. All right, so setting your, um, your risers, I'm going to split the risers so they're side by side and then place them in the riser tray so they don't lump up. I don't want to stack them on top. Close the inner riser cover and then bring the riser cover around and set it on top to hold it until you're done packing. At this point, I just want to make sure that my lines are pulled to the bottom corners of the container to avoid them getting wrapped around anything during deployment. I'm going to set the bag straight down in the rig. Take my pull up, I'm going to pull it straight up so that the bag is placed in the rig evenly. And then we close it bottom and then top. I'm going to kneel on this to keep the closing loop from sliding back in there and binding. And then I'm going to pull this up. At this point, if you've just changed the loop, if you can pull the closing loop up with a little bit of force, not a whole lot, there's a seam right here that you can see. If the loop is relatively within that seam, that's a pretty good loop length. From this point, because we stow the bridle out the bottom, I'm going to tuck the excess up under the center flap, just so I have enough of the pin sticking out. I'm closing the right bottom flap, kneeling on it again to keep it from sliding back in, then closing the left. As I pull these together, I just massage the rig a little bit so it doesn't look lumpy. Take out what bridle I need. And then set the pin. Now as far as bridle placement, what we're going to do is we're going to just neaten this up and take the bridle and slide it under the right side cover. So now we can see our telltale mark for our pilot chute that we know it is set. Close the flap. I'm then going to tuck the rest of this in the pocket and corner. Okay, so now that the rig is closed, there's a lot of different ways to fold your pilot chute. The one that is in the manual is this method. We're gonna fold the pilot chute in half. When you're doing this, I have the tuck tab facing up. I'm going to fold the left side in one third, the right side in one third. The pallet chute gets folded in half once again. We're gonna stow the bridle. And then we're gonna roll over the left side and then the right side as you're facing it. The, the uh, bridle is behind it underneath the pilot chute. We're just gonna slide that in. And that gives you a nice flat BOC. Now I'm going to close the riser covers. I'm gonna take the inner riser covers. I'm gonna bend them into a bit of an arc and then slide them up into the outers. And the reason I'm doing this is to not bend these. I don't want to try to force them in. I want to place them up inside because they help hold the riser cover shut. And just like that, you're ready to jump. Thanks for watching Get Geared Up, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.